Whether you're looking for outfit ideas for the spring and summertime, or you're looking for a fresh perspective to add to your closet, you have found the right place. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you seven of the most recent outfits that I've been wearing, where I wore them to, how I styled them, and where I got them from. Okay, so for the first outfit, this is something that I wore when I met up with a friend to get a drink, hung out, and then after that, I went back to his house and we played some video games. Some of you guys have been following the channel for a while know that I'm a little bit of a nerd. You know, whenever I get some brotherly time to hang out with my homies, I always try to wear a fresh outfit, but also get some gaming time in. So one of the things I do when I start all of my outfits off is I wear a tank top, especially when it comes to the spring and summertime. I don't really think you need to spend $60 like how Suit Supply or some of these other stores have it. Just get you a simple white tank top for Abercrombie or Hangs, it'll be good. Great base to start off. And I went with this corduroy over shirt that is from Abercrombie. I love adding texture in any outfit that you can wear when it comes to the spring and summertime. And it's very lightweight, so you don't get like super hot, but it's also good for those days where it's like 60 degrees or even maybe in the low 70s. And you can still get a fresh perspective off in the outfit. These green cargos right here are from Uniqlo. I like them because they're a little bit more roomy in the thigh and calf area. And for my footwear with this outfit, I went with these 550 New Balances. But those of you who've been following for a while, you know I'm not a huge sneaker guy, but whenever I see something I like, I definitely get it. I found out that this was actually a collab that they did with Amelion Door. For you guys who know fashion, you know that's an upcoming brand that a lot of people really like, so I had to get them. And I felt like they're the perfect spring sneaker. And this is the full look for this outfit. I really like how it came together. I got a lot of compliments about it. I'm also gonna have links for all these outfits in the description box. So for the second outfit, what I wore, I wore this to hanging out with a friend as well. And I went to a couple parties and events. The first theme that I pretty much dressed for the entire evening was a rodeo party. I tried to put some Western elements into my outfit. So I'm bringing back some other green cargos. These are from Southern Gents. The others in the last outfit were from Uniqlo. They're more tailored down to the leg, which I like a little bit more, but I think they're a little bit more dressy and the last ones were more casual. So for my shirt, I went with this crochet polo that I got from Suit Supply. It's a button through polo so breathable, like so breathable, really enjoy wearing it. I really am big about still layering, even when it gets a little bit more hot outside and warmer, but you also wanna do this in a smart way with a breathable material like this crochet. And man, I really, really did love wearing this. And to be honest with you, when I was putting this outfit together, I wanted to make sure that I kept the Western elements in there, but I didn't want it to seem too cowboyish or too try hard at the same time. So it's always good to try to put those colors and really putting that cream and green, like I told you in the last outfit, is a impeccable style move. For the sake of this video, I just wanna let you know that I did not wear a tank up under this outfit when I wore it out that day, but I'm just gonna keep the tank on. I just like a more cleaner look with the polo being tucked in, and you'll see why a little bit later. Then with this, I did add a belt to it, just cause the belt adds more aesthetic to the outfit. Then like I told you, because I was going to a Western event, I did bring out the cowboy boots. These cowboy boots are from Thursday Boots, and these are my favorite ones from them. What I really learned about when you wear cowboy boots, it's really good to have a wide leg in your trouser at the bottom. Since I was going to multiple places throughout the night, I tried to make sure that it fit my style, but it was presentable for each place that I was going to. And another really big thing about this outfit that you're gonna notice is that it has a lot of pockets, right? Just like the last outfit. And this was kind of the full look. I really, really like how it came together. I didn't even know that it was gonna be smooth like this. And with the shirt jacket that I wore on top, this is a suede shirt jacket. This also is very, very light too, so it's not heavy. And I really thought this was a good transitional outfit from going from it being somewhere maybe in the 65s to being out in the evening around like eight o'clock where the temperature dropped down all the way to low 50s. For the next outfit, I wore this to date night with my wife. So of course we got a chance to be able to go out and have a good time. And so this is a date night outfit. So you guys know I'm always more of a dapper classic menswear guy. So I started off the outfit with some trousers. And these dark brown trousers are also the second piece to a full dark brown suit that I showed in my wardrobe essentials video. I think when it comes to date night, it's always good to go with a darker outfit just for more of a sexy touch 
to the day night outfit, but I also want to wear a little bit of color. One of my favorite colors to wear, if you've been following me for a while and paying attention, you know that I love brown. The polo I'm gonna wear with this outfit is gonna be this dark brown polo that is from Suit Supply, but I specifically like the polos that don't have any buttons on them. Buttonless polos are a vibe. I think that's the new wave for polos. For the footwear, I went with these suede brown loafers that are from Allen Edmond. I love them because they have quality footwear. This is a pair I've actually had for a few years now, just to match up with more of that monochromatic dark nighttime look. And also, I'm gonna be honest with you fellas, I think if you're going on a date Wear some hard bottoms. Don't wear no sneakers. Wear some hard bottoms. Unpopular opinion, dress up for your lady you're going out with. Why wear sneakers? This jacket right here is from Suit Supply. This has a ring repellent material on it. So it's also a light jacket, perfect for the spring as well. And this fit honestly was a vibe. I felt really good in it as I was wearing it. Of course, I got some compliments from my wife about it as well. She really liked it. But the jacket really just takes it up a notch to a different level. And of course, you know, it has my favorite pockets because I got to be putting the keys, the car keys, the wallets, her wallet, maybe even her purse. You can even get up in here, you know, a little bit if you got extra pockets. All right. So with this next outfit, I got invited to a champion event at this bar restaurant called Five Church. If you live in Atlanta, you probably are familiar with the restaurant. So it was a special event and because I'm a creator, we get invited to these special events. I always don't necessarily wanna be too dressed up, but I also wanna maintain my style if you're meeting me for the first time, because I wanna make a great impression. Of course, I went with some trousers again, but I went a little bit more stylistic with these trousers because they are wide-legged. They are a little bit more roomy, uh, kind of that new style, but still tailored at the same time that you'll notice in the fit. There was one particular part in this outfit that I got so many compliments on and I'm gonna see if you guess it and one of the things I went back with with this outfit is this brown polo this brown polo is a staple I wore it in that last outfit on date night so I brought it back in this outfit again because who doesn't love a darker colored polo and I also I'm gonna layer it up under something else now one of my favorite essentials that you can wear really all year but they are most popular during the spring and summertime are loafers. And I like a little bit of sauce to my loafers. As you can see, I got these from GH Bass. It's one of my favorite brands right now to get these loafers from. But these multicolored loafers give so much style and pop to an outfit. Now, like I told you guys earlier, I really like when outfits work on their own, but also work better with the layer. This crochet cardigan on top of this outfit, it also really, really complements the loafers very well and brings the whole outfit together. All right, for outfit number five, I wore this one to brunch, and I think it's a really smooth, dapper outfit to wear to brunch. I found some of the pieces really recently, and honestly, when I wore it, I, I felt like that guy. I felt like that guy in it, and I want you guys to feel that type of energy. So starting off with these jawstring trousers, right? These are pinstripe navy jawstring trousers. They're from Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren always makes dope pieces, you guys know that. But I always try to figure out in the spring and summertime how exactly I'm gonna wear something that's still elevated but casual at the same time. And I think this outfit really, really speaks to that with these jawstring trousers. I also did get my tailor to put a two inch cuff on my trousers. This is just something I like to do to add a little bit more weight at the bottom of the trousers. So next I have this cream horizontal stripe polo that I got from Mango. This is something that's technically breaking a rule because you're not supposed to mix patterns. I think I've seen that on YouTube a few times times but I think it works together but you can let me know your thoughts and then I'll finish this outfit off with some white sneakers that you guys may have a chance of winning if you comment on this video white sneaker but these white sneakers are from Thursday boots and I think this is a simple way to end out the outfit now, starting off with my sixth outfit right here, this is gonna be the outfit that I wore to church on Easter Sunday. If you go to church, you know that you have to come with a fresh fit when it's Easter Sunday at church. And I didn't wear a tie, particularly in this outfit right here, but I really wanted to make a statement with the color. So starting off with these Gurkha trousers right here. These are custom Gurkha trousers that I got from Eric Austin Customs. This is a little bit more of a light mint-ish color. And I really love this color for this particular season. I think it's very festive for Easter, as you'll see the full fit coming together. This is more of a custom style trouser that you'll find at Todd Snyder sales, Eton sales. There's a few different ones that you can wear. If you wanna get into the custom realm, I suggest getting a trouser like this. Now you guys know I love being a monochromatic guy when it comes to my outfits. I thought about going with a white t-shirt for this, but I just can't help wearing a collar and elevating the outfit in some 
some way, some shape, some form. So I wanted to wear a polo with this. This polo is also a mint color polo that I got from Essentials some years ago. And I really, really like how it came together with the trousers. Each outfit, I always have to add my personal style or flavor to it. And I got these loafers right here. These are another multicolored loafer that I got from Mark Nolan. I love Mark Nolan's shoes. This is a newer brand, I would say, came out in the last five years but they have impeccable style when they come out with their shoes. Now it wouldn't be an Easter fit if I didn't have a full Easter suit. And that is why I love this blazer right here. The blazer, how it kind of combos with the outfit. It complements everything so well. Now for my last outfit, I got the opportunity to speak at a marketing conference at University of Tennessee. And it was honestly really, really cool to be able to get invited to go to a school to talk to students and other marketing professionals about social media marketing, because yes, I'm a professional, you know, that kind of makes me feel a little cool that they would want me to talk about that. So starting off, I really went back and forth when it came to my suit color, when I get the opportunity to speak, because if you think about color theory, you always should wear a color that people trust, like navy, blue or things of that nature, but I also wanted to maintain my stylistic viewpoint with people meeting me. Now, when I was putting together this outfit, I wanted to be very classic, but stylish at the same time. And that is why I went with suspenders. I just love a classic style of wearing suspenders, but I'm gonna tell you guys a quick tip about when you wear suspenders. You have those suspenders that have the metal buttons on them. Personally, I think that's a style mistake when it comes to wearing your suit. I think a good way that you should be wearing your suspenders is you wanna to go to your tailor and you wanna to ask to put suspender buttons inside of your trousers. And that way, when you get some classic suspenders, you'll connect the ending point to the suspender buttons inside the pants. This gives a much more cleaner look than you having those metal buttons just on the side. So quick tip just for you, those who wanna wear suspenders still. I wanted the striped tie that has a little bit more fabric to it. It's not silk. And I wanted something to stand out differently in the suit. I wanted these small details that really turn the suit into a whole different vibe. Bringing these GH Bass multicolored loafers back again, just because I wanna add some more sauce to the outfit. There's so much more that you can do with the suit to really, really make it stand out and be saucy. And I got a lot of compliments on this. Now, when I tell you on my way to the conference, whenever I stopped at the coffee shop, whenever I went to Publix, I got so many compliments on this suit outfit. And those are the outfits that I've been wearing recently, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. In the comments, let me know which one was your favorite outfit. And let me know if you guys wanna see more videos like this. Don't forget to hit a like on that video if you guys enjoyed the video. And make sure that you comment white sneaker in the comments if you want a white sneaker of your own.